This is our beautiful steel boat, or at least it was, before we found some pretty serious rust issues. And now, this is where she is. I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Our life rarely goes as planned, and this story is no different. But we are determined to rebuild our beautiful steel boat, even stronger than she was before. And we're bringing you along with us. Two years ago, we hauled our boat out of the water, thinking we maybe had six months of work to do, tops. But we quickly discovered that there was a lot more work than we had expected, and we weren't going to be able to do that work in the boatyard either. Moving the boat was going to be anything but easy thanks to flooding that knocked out every highway in the province. But eventually, after weeks of waiting, we were able to move the boat. and we have been in this boat shed ever since. And then down in here, it's bad all the way along the bottom. And then it goes up and there's spots that run up in back. Kind like, of like under where the channel is was. This is all really thin right in here. Every time we took something apart, we seemed to find more rust that needed to be fixed. But it also wasn't too long before some stuff started to go back together. The bulwarks had by far the worst rust that we found. We had hoped that most of them could be salvaged, but we were not so lucky. We 
we ended up replacing two inches of deck all the way around, tearing out huge parts of the interior to get to it, and then rebuilding the entire ball works. When winter hit again, we knew we needed to figure out a way to keep the shed warm if we were going to get the work done that we needed to do. So we enclosed everything the best that we could. Lots of the jobs we did over the winter wouldn't have been able to be done without the enclosure, like painting and spray foam. And they needed to be done in order for us to move on to other projects. We felt like we were getting close to the finish line and then we found this. Which led us to replacing two aft hull plates and added on months of work to the project.
Once those were replaced, we had to take the engine out to replace the cutlass bearing and do some work in the engine bay. We tried to put the rudder back in, but the skeg had moved with all the welding that we had done. So we struggled with that for a few days, before finally figuring out how to get it back into the boat. And then there was the water tanks. But things finally started to go back together, and we got the new steel sandblasted, which is the only job we didn't do ourselves. We got some paint on the boat, and then some fairing. And finally, some more paint. And now here we are with a bunch of interior work left to do, as well as the mast and some more on the decks. Look guys, there's a boat behind us and it's painted. We have a long way to go, but we're getting there. And man, have we come a long way. If you've been here with us through this entire rebuild, thank you so much for sticking with us. I promise we will eventually have sailing content for you again. And if you're new here, I hope this video gives you a better idea of all we have done and how we got to the point we're at now. Thanks a ton to our patrons as well for helping to keep us motivated through all of the insanity, and we'll see you next week.